Hey Soul Tribe. All right, so we're on day four of the soup detox, which is unlimited skim milk and up to six bananas. So as you've seen in the previous video or from yesterday, I made a few. Um, I took the two bananas, I added some cinnamon, some vanilla, and topped it up with skim milk. Today I blended it up in the Nutribullet, and it was good. Like, obviously it wasn't sweet, but it was real. I can't believe how much the banana thickened it up. Like, it was filling to the point where I have, I made three of them, and I've only had one. So I had one of those, I had a bowl of soup, and I had a bowl of vegetables. So, yeah, I still got to get those other two down. And, well, it's 10 to 7 <laughs> p.m. But then again, yeah, I'm an all-nighter, so I'll be drinking that tonight. So, I, yesterday, Jake and I put, I think I, I made a video and I explained that we had seasoned all of our protein. So, yesterday, Jake and I chose the protein of choice. I chose my Italian, um seasoned up chicken thighs which I put four in a bag with Italian seasoning and some olive oil and then I froze it so I defrosted it today just so all that seasoning can like pound into the chick and make it all nice because tomorrow is our 10 to 20 ounces of protein and soup so I thought okay how can I do this to make it into a hearty meal well my friends what I did was I took my chicken that was spiced up with the Italian seasoning, right? And I froze it and had some olive oil in it, so it was defrosted. And when it was when it was defrosted, all that flavoring was so pounded into the proteins, it just penetrated right through. So that that's an easy way to marinate meat. And then I put it inside the air fryer on bake, chicken mode. Let it go, turn them, because there's no bone in it, so it'll cook faster, right? And then once they were about 80% cooked, I took out tomatoes from my marinade salad and threw them in here. And then I rendered it down for about a half an hour, turning them, doing my thing. Oh, and the five mush I picked five mushrooms out of there and put it in there too. Rendered it down. And then I scooped soup into here, like some of our soup detox or detox soup, you know, put that into there, a scoop of it, threw it back in the air fryer oven mode, rendered it down, threw another scoop in just to make it hearty and totally tenderize that chicken. Now I can cut into it because it's not really going to matter. See, it gets tender. See, it's just tender, right? And then basically t tomorrow, so I'm going to let it sit in these juices, right? And then tomorrow, I'm going to put it back in the oven and he like heat it. Or I might put it in, actually, I might transfer it over to like this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transfer it over into this pot. And then I'll render it on the stove. That's ex on slow and low for like an hour. And then that way, the chicken will just fall apart. So that's how I became creative with my... 10 to 20 ounces of protein and unlimited soup with a tomato. Well, uh, see, you just got to switch it up. Like, oh, and then when it came out, I added my favorite smoked paprika and a dash of liquid smoke because I love smoke. I'm, you know, some, if you love smoked food, you'll love it. And I'm one of those people. I can't, I just can't get enough. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I also wanted to show you something about my soup. I got my banana peels dehydrating, and once I'm all ready to go in a couple days here, 
then I'll show you how you can make a beauty product out of banana peels for your skin and wrinkles. And I'm not a doctor, but I can just tell you from my experience. Anyway, it's just a natural thing you can do with banana peels that is really good for your skin, in my humble opinion. All right. So let me just get these spices put away. And we'll move this aside for now. And now I'm going to show you how easy. I taught, I showed you guys briefly how we do my vegetables and broth for this soup. But I want to show you just how simple it is. Like once you do all the work, I'll show you. So the veggies are mostly defrosted, right? That was the Ziploc I showed you. So I just put it in the pot. Now, I can hear there's an ice chunk, but this is, like I had half a jug in the fridge and then I pulled another jug out because it makes just about a half a jug. So I topped this up with the one half and uh, I like to clean out the fridge and have my fridge nice and decluttered. So I marry stuff together, but anyway. I just pour that in there, chop her up, you know, I can put this back in the fridge, give it a good shake to try and break down that ice chunk, right? And because I like to practice first in, first out, that was just the end of the last batch of broth. Throw that in there. And give it a good, you know, breakdown. You know, wooden fork. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, the, and then my veggies stay nice and crunchy and they keep their texture and, you know, it's kind of awesome. So then we leave it like that, and we keep the the rest of the jug in the fridge. And as we need more broth, we add it. And then once the pot gets down to a day's worth of soup, you know, but when I downsize it, because I'll downsize it to a smaller pot, that's when I know to pull up more vegetables. But we always have a jug of broth in the fridge because it takes, if in the fridge, that's why it still has an ice chunk. It takes five days to defrost in the fridge. So you always, you don't want to be rushing that. That's a headache to try and defrost that. So see, in fact, I could add some more broth actually. Break that up. <laughs> Like slush. <laughs> that sounds so gross. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so, I just want to try and get this milk jug shake back. It's shape. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's more like a soup and less like a stew. You know what I mean? So as you can see, it's tons of vegetables. It's a hearty soup. It makes us feel good. <laughs> and that will be that. Mm -hmm. So you can do it my way or you can do it your way. My way, in my opinion is the easy way. I like to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> All right. So, lid that up. And this batch of soup will last us, I guess, throughout the weekend to the military diet. So thanks for tuning in. Love ya. Bye.